I am Rachel Romeliotis, a senior editor with O'Reilly Media, and I'm here at Velocity New York 2013 with Ilya Grigoric, a developer advocate at Google. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. So your new book, High Performance Browser Networking, has come out, and I personally think it's great. Uh, I know you did a lot of thinking after mm -hmm. you wrote the book. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about sort of what went through your head? Well, so when I received the book, uh, finally ha had it on my hands, sure. um, kind of had this realization that like, it's, it's finally there, right? Like, mm -hmm. You carry it in your head for so long, and then you finally have this like physical thing. Yep. And it kind of kicked off a, a little retrospective in my mind of like how much time did it actually take? And being the uh, analytics geek that I am, um, concerned about performance, I look back and I, I've used a bunch of tools throughout the whole process to measure how much time I'm spending sure. in my editor and other things. So I realized that I spent about a thousand hours writing wow. the book. And that includes research and other things, mm -hmm. right? And some lessons learned along the way. I mean, some obvious things. Um, I was using the O'Reilly Atlas uh, tool chain, which yep. is new. Yes. And one of the awesome benefits of that is uh, it allowed me to publish early and get feedback. Right, so you can just comment right in the book. And right, that was, which is fantastic. You know, as anybody who's ever developed any kind of software product before knows that get your feedback early, you know, get it out there. Totally agree. And iterate. And that was the, you know, that, that's an obvious lesson. It's something that I've known before, but mm -hmm. it just it was great to see it once again. Um, you know, by the time I had the book published, there was literally dozens of people who already read it and reviewed it and offered sure. tons of feedback. So, you know, big thanks to everybody who's helped me along the way there. Yeah. And then, you know, even small personal things like I, when I started writing the book, I would start writing it in the evening. You know, you come back from work and you just gotta try to carve out a couple of hours to work on it. And it just wasn't working well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I learned that uh, working in the morning, and I wouldn't consider myself to be a morning person. Okay. Uh, but working in the mornings was one of those things where it's just like, I could carve out a couple of hours and uh, get my work done, and it felt good because I, you know, accomplished something big before the workday sure. started. So you know, little things like that along the way that you learn. It's like mm -hmm. I work better during this time. I, these topics are more interesting, or mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Was there anything that really surprised you during the creation process? During the creation process, um, sure. I've learned a lot about web performance. <laughs> right. Um, I find that. Writing something down makes you really think through what you thought you know, mm -hmm. or what you thought you knew, mm -hmm. and then you try to write, write it down in simple terms and like, oh, they're all the, these are three edge cases that I've never thought about, sure. or I thought I understood, but you didn't. And then you're forced to clarify them, and sometimes it dramatically changes your understanding of it. So that was probably the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. yep. That's great. Um, so who should actually be picking up this book and reading it? And um, what do you think this book offers that's not out there currently? Right. So the tagline for the book is what every web developer should know about networking performance, right? Sure. And my thinking there, but specifically browser networking, mm -hmm. is there's a number of different platforms, right? So we have this you know, iOS, Android, mm -hmm. we have Microsoft, a couple of other platforms. Regardless of what platform you develop for, you're going to have a browser. Yep. And even if tomorrow, you know, bunch of guys in some basement come up with the next platform, uh, they will have a browser. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that for sure. So even today, the browser is the largest platform that you can develop for in terms of getting the distribution. Absolutely. Right. So that's something you should leverage. And even with all that said, uh, if you're building native applications, networking performance is still one of the mm -hmm. primary problems whenever I talk to developers. Right. So. Uh, you know, as another data point, when I talked to our uh, Google Chrome team, for example, we recently did an analysis of the top one million sites, just in terms of what are the performance bottlenecks mm -hmm. for the initial page load time. And we found that more than 60% of the time was spent waiting on the network. Hmm. Just like literally sitting there idling, not doing anything, because we're stuck waiting for the bytes to arrive to actually say, like, well, we need to decode an image or in, you know, do something else. Interesting. So. That's a big area for optimization, right? So my book is about how the network works, mm -hmm. why it does, why it works the way it does, and what we can do to optimize it, mm -hmm. right? There's small things that you can do, kind of tweaks on your server, in your code, that will make things go a lot faster. And this is applicable, like the book does have browser networking, mm -hmm. but three quarters of the book are also applicable to native app development because mm -hmm. at, at the, you know, one, on the lower layers, you're still using all the same stuff, TCP, HTTP, all of, of course, these protocols. Yeah. And that's what the book is basically about. 
just like, how does the network work? What can you do to optimize? When I was looking through it, it seemed to me like you really, really want to get the foundational material right. right before you then start building on it. So I, I think it's going to be really helpful to a lot of people. And yep. I think consumers will be happy <laughs> that you've helped people to, to do I that. I hope so, yes. <laughs> so, um, so now that the book is done, yep. what are you going to do next? Well, now that it's all written down, I need to go out and help people adopt it. Sure. Right? So Definitely. I think one of the big opportunities in the space, you know, it's great to see you here at Velocity. There's mm -hmm. a lot of companies that are building by performance tools, tooling, uh, ways to detect performance regressions. But you know, despite all that, there's so much more to be done. Yeah, um, I agree. We have projects at Google. Like I know that when I talk to a lot of teams at Google, outside of Google, mm -hmm. uh, they're always asking me for more. It's like, here are the three things that the current tools are not solving. Right. So that's an area that I'm really passionate about, just mm -hmm. in terms of automation, helping developing better tools. Uh, right now, a lot of it is kind of ad hoc analysis. Sure. Right. So how do we make better tools that are more, uh, that give you actionable advice, mm -hmm. right? Uh, some of the tools today that we have are great in terms of they expose a lot of data, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like just like a data dump. It's like here, right? And then you're supposed to dive in and figure out what's wrong. Right. I'd love to have more diagnostics that will tell you, well, this is your number one problem. This is what you should fix. Right. So where, where do you think and, and hope to see web performance in the next few years? So, um, actually, a talk I'm giving later uh, later today is uh, breaking the 1,000 millisecond barrier on mobile. Okay. And the thinking there is, this is something that we've been spending a lot of time at Google as well, um, we want to see all the mobile pages load in one second less. And what do we need to get there, right? And you kind of have that budget of one second. It's actually a very hard engineering problem because mm -hmm. once you figure out like all the places where you have latency that will sure. hold you back, there's like a long laundry list of things we need to fix. But despite that, it is possible. There are sites that do it. It takes hard work. Mm -hmm. You have to be very diligent about it. And that's where I hope we will end up, right? I want the mobile web to be consistently performant, right? I want to be able to click on the link and expect that something will show up in less than a second. Right. And it's that consistency that I think is even more important than just raw speed. Right. Uh, well, raw Definitely. speed of one second is already fast, sure. right? But also delivering that consistency, because it's a terrible experience today when you click on the link and you s sit there for ten seconds, mm -hmm. and the next link you click, it takes six seconds. Right. It's just like rolling a dice. Yeah, definitely. Well, I definitely want to thank you for your work. I'm, I'm happy that you're a voice in the community, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you.